Glove touch. No, uh, yep, there is definitely bad blood here still between these two. All right. They fought, as, they fought as amateurs. MIA won via strikes at the end of round three. Isaiah making his debut, coming off of an eight and five amateur record. Looking to redeem that loss. MIA looking for the sweep here. Oof. Both of them look ultra comfortable right now. Yes, they do. Isaiah very comfortable letting that, that head kick just float right by him. Emma looks a lot bigger, a lot longer. Definitely reach advantage there. Whew. Snappy on the kicks, too. Now both of them checking out the range with the jabs here. Am I, uh, oh, had a little bit of a sound difficulty there, <laughs> man. <laughs> Promise you we do not have lightning inside of this building right now, guys. <laughs> Isaiah known for his uh, heavy hands. He got a lot of knockouts on his amateur career. Phenomenal boxer. MAA phenomenal wrestler. Oh, and lands a nice jab there. Yeah. So he's starting to find the distance. He's closing down just a little bit because he was just out of distance. But now he's starting to get it. There, there he goes for the there takedown. What a quick takedown. Maya, I believe, purple belt, jujitsu, very comfortable here. He went, he, he switched over sides when uh, Isaiah jumped that guillotine. He jumped over the other side, so that way Isaiah had to let go, otherwise risking losing by a uh, Von Flute. Yeah. Great side control. Got his hips wedged, not letting him go anywhere. Great pressure here by Maya. Tried stepping over to mount, but Isaiah's holding the knee up really well. Oh, he's going for a leg ride right here, so he's got the top leg up on his hip. Bottom leg, oh, he, he had it stapled. No longer has a leg ride. Oh, and oh, oh good job get by out. Isaiah getting up on that attempt for mount. Oh, Maya, though, tempting that head the, kick. Throws a leg kick right there, right as soon as they get up. No time wasted going back to striking. Yeah, looking for another takedown there. Both guys doing a really good job just keeping the punches going, gauging distance with that jab. Neither of them being stationary. They're not leaving their head in the center line. You could tell, too, MIA with throwing those head kicks early and then mixing in takedowns there. You know, Isaiah's kind of at a dilemma. What do you do with your hands? Keep them up, drop them low. That'll be something to keep an eye on. Yep. Isaiah's starting to get comfortable, but his hands are kind of dropping with him getting comfortable. They are. Always, always risky in front of someone like a Maya. Yeah. I wonder, yeah, if he's keeping him low intentionally or if he's just getting too comfortable there. Ooh, just missed the right hand. His head movement is great. Another oh takedown. Oh my gosh, another great takedown. Way to run the pipe there. Getting back into that leg, leg now ride. He's, yep, he's trying to go for that leg ride again. He's trying to get that staple on the bottom leg. Isaiah does a good job shrimping back to his back. MAA going for a staple. Oh, and oh, he goes. Oh, mounted him. Oh, there he's on mount. On, that's not good for Isaiah. MAA is going to try to separate here and try to get some ground and pound. He's only got 30 seconds left. Be careful with that arm there. 
Oh, he's giving his back up. All right, back to his back. MAL, some heavy ground and pound here. Heavy shots and good control here with those shots. He's not letting Isaiah bump out. Wow, wow. What a first round. Strong round for my, uh, just got back from the, the Apex Performance uh, UFC Performance Institute in Las Vegas, training with Jamal Hill and his, his team down there, and he looks sharp. Once again, following this fight is the uh, after party at the Island. Round one goes to MAA. Absolutely, yeah. Two takedowns, dominant ground control. A couple good strikes in there, too, on their feet. Really good ground and pound. Yeah, he's pretty dominant first round. Isaiah's getting caught on the takedowns when uh, when MAR is throwing a jab or throwing throwing some straight. He leans straight back with his head. As the, and instead of throwing a counter, he just brings it back to neutral, and that's when MAR is right there for the takedown. Yeah. He goes in for a jab. He's not even going to land it. He's no. just going for the jab and then right into the takedown. Yep. All right, round two of the main event. Here we go. Solid body kick there. Switch a stance to a southpaw, goes right in for a takedown. Good job with Isaiah getting yeah. that underhook. Good stuff. Maya's not giving up on that takedown. He's got a leg. Trying to clasp his hands around both. Of Keeps course. on pressuring. Good, good Dropped pressure from the cage. Oh, and then he wraps the legs around right here. Another Dagestani move right there. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Khabib in him. Yeah. Yeah, if he can get his legs in that figure four position above the knees. Uh, let a leg oh, out now. Yep. Back to half guard. Yep. So now, now Isaiah's got a half guard. If Isaiah can get that left arm underhook. Yeah, hard to tell what the strategy of Isaiah is here. Yeah. There he's going for that underhook. Yeah, I mean he's just got he's got to dig it and then just wrestle out, which is hard to do against someone like MAI. Yeah. yeah, he's got to pummel that left arm in if he can. There it is. He's got that underhook. Recover his guard maybe. He's gonna turn his hips the other way, I feel like. MAI using great pressure. Phenomenal pressure. He's still using his punches to set up his uh, his advances in position. Yeah, he'll look to climb up those legs now. Possibly go for a back take here. If he can get back in the mount. He's got basically a three-quarter mount right here. Having that foot in now, he's to full, full mount. mount. Yeah, that's a bad spot for Isaiah. He needs to get his back to the cage and try try scooting his way up. Or if he can just do an Upa escape, trap an arm, trap a leg, and just bump. There you oh, go. There, there he tries to get up. A little bit of back exposure. Isaiah landed some good shots. Oh, it turns and to MAI. turtle. MAI goes right into double, double hooks. And he's got his hooks in, got him flat now. That's a bad spot to be in if you're Isaiah. Trying to get back to Turtle, no dice. He's trying to reach for a, for a rear naked right here. I don't know if he has his arm underneath the chin at all. Looking to pry that chin open there, or that shoulder. Honestly, at this point in time, he may just crank on it even through the jaw. Uh, looking to get some uh, neck exposure there via punches. See what, how Isaiah responds. Two minutes left, 2.15. That's a lot of time left for uh, MIA out of work. Like he's got it, trying to work under the chin. Isaiah doing a good job of burying that chin into the forearm, turning into him. Good defense, he's getting to his back again. Yeah, 
Isaiah avoided the uh, RNC, but now he's going into still a bad position. Yeah. So it's not great. I mean, I doing a great job with that position, pressuring that arm up. Oof, almost Isaiah, had that. Isaiah got out of that. Yeah, yeah got that out of that arm, arm triangle choke. there, yeah. Yeah, my Isaiah, I, yeah, Isaiah's now using that cage to try to get up. Yeah. My eye almost looks like he's giving him some space, some room to work to take the back again. There it is, yep. yep. Still trying to work on uh, Isaiah's chin here. Flatten out again. Yeah, every time Isaiah tries to get up into that turtle position, I mean, God does a great job of just extending his hips and flattening him. And anyone who's been in this position here knows it's just torture. You go from somebody on your back, ground and pound, you finally escape, and, and your reward is you end up in full mount. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, you got to work even harder to get to it, even. <laughs> Yeah. And even halfway, not bad position. And then, yeah, so much effort to get out of full mount, so many opportunities to expose your back again. Just, my, uh, just punishing him. There he is, his back is exposed again. He's trying to sneak underneath. He's not getting that chin. Yeah. Isaiah doing a good job of keeping the chin tucked, but. He's got to defend himself. He's got to defend himself. Oh, saved oh. by the bell. Isaiah saved by the bell there. Jamal Hill walking in with a big smile on his face, likes what he's seen out of his fighter tonight. Pretty dominant performance thus far. Yeah, my uh Yep, he's up 2-0. Absolutely. Isaiah, I mean, you know, it's it's always risky with the takedowns because you can't close he's gotta close the distance to get his boxing in. Right. But he doesn't want to close the distance too much to set himself up open for a takedown. Well, that's why this fight is so exciting, because, I mean, you, you could just expect this was the game plan of Skywalker. They wanted it. They're executing it really, really well. But Isaiah's got that one-punch knockout power. So, I mean, he still has a puncher's chance. He still has a chip in a chair, but he's going to have to put him away. Uh, he's got any hope here. Yep. All right, round three. Yeah. M.A.R. Yeah. switching to the southpaw right here. Yeah. He did that in the first two rounds, and usually he shot a shot out of that southpaw stance. He would, he would throw a few, and then he would shoot from there. Oh, there it is. There he goes out of the southpaw stance, running the pipe. Turn it into a double. Yeah, he's going to try to get on the opposite side of that, that arm as he aban abandons that. And right back to where he picked right back up where he left off. The corner of MIA encouraging him to use some short elbows. Looking to cut up Isaiah here on the ground. Yeah, I expect this hand to slip right into an elbow right here. Yep. Yep. Isaiah's doing a Good job of trying to keep the hand off of him. Now he's got himself. a yeah. Now he's got a head and arm choke available here. He's stepping oh. out, demounting, looking for that arm triangle. Isaiah's trying to answer the phone, but he's got to buck out of here. He does. He's got to move his hips out of this position. Mayas can just hold and wait. Oh, back to mount. Maybe Isaiah, he's going to look at sink it deeper. The, yeah. He abandoned the head and arm. He's keeping pressure though with his with his head. Oh, and then he lost it. There he lost it. Yep. Yeah, once again, back to mount on top for MAI. Man, with three and a half minutes left, that is an eternity in this position. You see MAI turning, turning Isaiah's head towards the cage instead of having the feet towards the cage. If his feet are towards the cage, he can bridge and try to get out of there, but with the head towards the cage, there's not much he can do. Yeah, just stuck here. And any bridge that Isaiah tries to do to go over his head, the cage protects MAO. Absolutely. And then here he goes. Bomb his face, Bomb his face. 
Oh, he's prying for that arm right there. They're trying to cage getting in the way that Americana is looking for. Oh. Back exposed, back take again. And the cycle continues, back takes him yep. down for MIA. Tries to get up to Turtle, MIA decides to roll over. Oh, boom, right back pulls, in the mouth. Yeah, pulls it back in the mouth. He is not one to lose a good position. Yes. Just really trading the two crown jewels of jujitsu and the, uh, you know, back control and full mount. And he's trying to trying to staple that shoulder with his knee. Yeah, Isaiah gets a little hip bump, but he's got to get more than that if he's going to try to get him off of him. He, he's got to catch one of those commit, legs yeah. and try to get back to half guard and recover here. Hard to do when you're against the cage, but it can be done. And you can't go halfway with that. Uh, if you're going to even fake a nupa, you can't even go halfway with it. You got to go all the way and then shrimp. You have to totally commit to it. Isaiah finally get away from the cage there. There we go. Oh, and he presses he gets, him off. Gets out. Oh. All right. And, and right back and in the mouth. he steps right back over. Oh, oh my, my gosh. Goodness. Some of the best MMA ground control we've seen uh, in a long time here. Yeah, one final minute left here. Isaiah doing all he can to control the arms and control the posture and does a decent job at kind of stiff arming that out. The problem is, MIA, his, his hips are just pressured on there, his knees are so high up, and Isaiah can buck all he wants, but as long as those knees are stapled to the mat, he, I mean, it's really a lot of effort for no reward. Yeah, it's just like that. Final 30 seconds. Maya's corner calling for him uh, just to let loose in this last 20 seconds. Ten seconds left. That's it. Maya leaves no doubt. Let's him hear about it. Got a little chirping going on behind us. Saying something to Jamal Hill. That's not the, that's a, it's it's like the, the last only person. 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 Yeah. You do not want to talk to any, like if there's anyone yeah. you don't want to talk trash to. If there are a thousand people in this building tonight, <laughs> he is number a thousand on the list of people you do not want to mess with. Do not. <laughs> Still talking. Still talking. Whole corner in now. Three, three UFC back to me. Right, Ryan Jensen doing a good job of pulling his fighter out of there. Yeah. He's he's been here before. It feels good, you know. 